Hi, this is Eddie Morgan over at Clover Seas High School, ready to help you with your homework. Let's look at uh, worksheet number 6.3. The homework help tonight will mirror every problem on your homework. So if you have a problem with just one problem, uh, fast forward to that one and we should be able to help you out. Let's get started. Our first problem asks us to find the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum of this data set, and then make a box and a whisker plot. Okay. So first thing we always have to do is we have to set these numbers in there in numerical order, not the order they come with. So I'm looking here and I see the smallest number looks like a 52. So I'll put 52 over here. And my biggest number looks like 259, so I'll put that over here. So those two numbers are down. And then we just need to put the other numbers in order. So 57, I'll put that here. 103, uh, about here. 87. 127. And 191. Now count the numbers to make sure you, you didn't miss a number. So I have one, two, three, four of those. So if I have seven numbers, that means that there's a middle number. Because essentially seven is three plus three plus one. So there's one number in the middle. So I can count over here. For example, I can count over three. And I can count three on this side. And I have a middle number. And that middle number is my median. So my middle number is 103. And now for the next part, we'll do the middle of the, of the left half. So there's three of them, so there's a middle there. So this is my quartile one, it's 57. The middle here, quartile three is 191. And then lastly, my minimum number is 52, and my maximum number is 259. So now we can draw our box and whisker. So I'm just going to put dots here for each number. My minimum, 52. So that's going to be about right here, 52. My maximum, 259. It's going to be about right there. My median was 103, right there. My uh, quartile, first quartile is 57. It's going to be pretty close there. And my other quartile, 191, will be about right here. Then I draw my box. My box goes between quartile 1 and quartile three, finish out my box. And then my median divides the box into two boxes. And then we add our whiskers and there's our box and whisker plot. In our second problem, again, we're going to find the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile and the maximum. So our first step is always to put them in order. I'm looking here and it looks like my smallest number is a 29. So I'll put that over here. And my largest number is a 38. So I'll put that over here. And then we're going to fill in the numbers in order. So my next number is 34. Looks like somewhere in the middle here. 33 would be right next to it. 37 is going to be up here by the 38. 35 would be about there, 36, and then 31. Now I'm going to count the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 of them. That means 8 is going to divide equally as 4 plus 4. So that means I'm going to have 4 on one side, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 numbers on the other side. In this case, there is no one middle number, so my median here is going to be halfway between these two numbers. And the way I find that is take 34 plus 35 and divide them by 2, so my median is 34.5. Now, when I look on the left side, there's four numbers, so once again, there's two numbers in the middle here. So my quartile 1 is going to be 31 plus 33 divided by 2 and that's 32. Likewise, on the other side, I'm going to have 36 and 37 are my two middle. So quartile three is going to be 36 plus 37 divided by two, which is 36.5. And then our minimum is our smallest number and our maximum is our largest number. 
So now we can come down and start making our box and whisker. Minimum is 29, so that's going to be right here on the number line. Maximum is 38, right here. My median is 34.5, so that's going to be about here. Quarto 1 is 32, and this one is 36.5. So there's my five points. Draw my box between quartile 1 and quartile 3. That's my box. 50% of the data is in here. My median splits the box, and then I ask my whiskers, and we're done. All right, again, we're going to find the minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum of the data. As I look here, I'm kind of looking for where my biggest and smallest is. It looks like my biggest number here is 210, and my smallest number looks like 37. So I'm going to write those in first. 37 all the way out to 210 and then we're going to I might as well mark those so I don't actually put them down again and now we're going to kind of put the numbers in order as best we can so I got a 92 I'm going to put the 92 about there it's hard to do this first time right sometimes you just get them in order and then rewrite them if you want them to be neater so here's an 83 let's put that about here I have a 93 it should be after the 92 and then a 173. I'll put that about right here. I hope I don't run out of room. A 62. It's going to be down here someplace. 186 sits right in here. Kind of squeeze it in there. And then an 84. Okay. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 numbers. Let's count them here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm pretty sure I got them all. Now because I have 9 numbers, 9 numbers is going to be 4 plus 4 plus 1. I'm going to have a middle number. So if I count over 1, 2, 3, 4, here is my median, my middle number. When I have a median then, I don't include it in the two sides. So my left side has those four numbers, and my right side has those four numbers. So my median here, as I indicated, is 92. My quartiles, notice I have four, so I'm going to have a middle two. So in this case, my quartile one is going to be 62 plus 83, add this up, and divide by two. And let's see what that's going to be. So 62 plus 83 equals 145 divided by 2. So this is going to be 72.5. All right. On the other side as well, I have quartile 3 is going to be 173 plus 186 divided by 2. So let me get 173 plus 186 equals 359 divided by 2 equals 179.5. And then, of course, my minimum is my smallest number, and my maximum is my largest number. Okay? So let's mark them all down. Minimum 37, so that's going to be right about here. My maximum is 210, it's going to be about here. My median is 92. My quartile 1 is 72.5, about there. And 179.5, about there. Okay. So I usually start with the box from quartile 1 to quartile 3. There's my box. My median is the number that splits the box into two boxes. And then my whiskers. And there we have it. All right, again, find the minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum, and then make a box and whisker plot. I'm going to kind of get an idea. Where's my smallest number? My smallest number looks like it's here. I'll put that way over here, 57.5. And then my largest number looks like the first one, 63.5. So let's stick that over there. And then we're going to start filling them in. All right, so I got 58. Probably down here, close to that. 60.5. Put that about here. 
I have 62. I have 61.5 twice. So 61.5, 61.5, so try to squeeze them in there. I got a 60. It's going to be over here. 59.75. And then another 60. Okay. So let's count to make sure we got them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 divides evenly into 5 and 5. So I'm going to have two boxes of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now because it's even, it means that my, I'm going to have a median here. It's going to be these two numbers here. So my median is going to be 60 plus 6 plus 60.5 divided by 2 which is going to be 60.25 that's going to be my median now for my quartiles i have one two three five so that means i do have a middle number so quartile one is going to be 59.75 and likewise over here the middle one quartile three is going to be 61.5 my minimum is my smallest number, and my maximum is my largest number. So now I have those five points, and we can draw the box now. My minimum is 57.5, so that's going to be about right here. Uh, my maximum is 63.5, which would be about right here. My median is 60.25. So 61, it's going to be about right here. My quartile 1, 59.75 is going to be really close here. And the last one, 61.5, is even closer. Really small, squeezed in here. So now let's draw our box between quartile 1 and quartile 3. And then my median divides the box into two and add my whiskers. And there we have that problem. Problem 5 says that in the box and whisker plots at the right, which class has the greater inner quartile range? You remember range is the largest minus the smallest. But the inner quartile range simply equals you take find quartile 3 and subtract quartile 1. So for A, that's going to be these two numbers here. So for class A, my inner quartile range looks like it's about 69 minus 63, which equals 6. And for class B, it's going to be here. So class B is going to look like it's going to be 67 minus 62, which equals 5. So which has the largest? Largest inner quartile range is class A. Problem six asks us to look at the whisker plots below. And what does it tell you about the test scores in each class? Well, one thing to notice is that as far as the high score goes, they both had people who got 100. So in terms of high scores, they're equal. But notice where they're, remember the box is 50% of the data. So notice that 50% of the class compared to 50% up here, generally speaking, six period tended to score higher. They both had the same low score and the same high score, but look where the box is. Six period, you see, tends to have higher scores than first period. Problem seven asks us, which portion of a box and whisker plot represents the inner quartile range? Well, if I have a box and whisker plot, let me just draw one quickly. This is quartile one, this is quartile three, so the IQR goes from there to there. So what does that represent? It represents the box. The box drawn between the first quartile and the third quartile, that's the inner quartile range. And number nine, and number eight, excuse me, it says, what about what percent of the data falls between the minimum value in the third quarter? Again, let me just draw a quick one here. If I draw myself a quarter, a, a, 
box and whisker plot here. They want to know how much data is between the minimum and the third quartile. Well, remember, the quartiles divide this into 25%. So there's 25% in this whisker, 25% in the bottom box, 25% in the top box, and 25% in that box, 100% total. But if I'm wanting to know how much between here and here, 25, 25, 25, that adds up to 75%.